What's up, YTPC? Uncle Willie coming to you from the Mobile Lounge. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, fun day. Tell you what, it's nice out. Man, I got the, the windows almost, well, halfway down on each side so it'll cross a draft so this don't uh, build up in here. Pipe tobacco or pipe smoke dissipates. Even though it, it stays in here, it does. it's not as noticeable. But when I smoke a cigar in here, that smoke is so much thicker and more dense that it, pardon, it, it just sticks around longer in here. So today I am smoking a CAO Amazon Basin. A guy in, in, in one of my groups years ago when they first came out, they first came out with this blend similar this blend in similarity was in 2014 and that guy said that it had a raisin taste to it so instead of the amazon basin we started calling it the amazing raisin and my wife even mentioned that the other day when i showed her i picked these up she's like is that the amazing bait amazing raisin and I just chuckled and said, yes, that's what they are. The thing about these, they got a, a rope band on them. You see that? That's smokable. And the flavor profile changes when you get into that band. Some people tear it off. Actually, the, uh, the guy from CAO, one of the top dogs, he'd always take that band off when he smoked one of the uh, basins. Now, when they first came out, this tobacco is grown in the Amazon rainforest. That's why it's called the Amazon Basin. When it first came out, they only rolled 2,000 boxes, or so they said. So, this, to try to get you to relate how scarce and this is this is like the uh, gall with drop or the uh, esoterica drop of pipe tobacco this is the drop of cigars they come out with seven boxes or two thousand boxes in 2014 when they first released it stating that it was a one-of-a-kind tobacco it's only grown every seven years it's only harvested every seven years to make this certain blend and it was so special but at the time they were eight dollars a, a, a cigar that was not a that was, that was a, a high dollar cigar eight ten bucks was an expensive cigar ten years ago well, eight, eight years ago, whatever it is. So, I ended up with seven boxes. Now, this was 2,000 boxes worldwide. Where they were released at worldwide, I don't know. But how can this old boy in Maryland get seven boxes of a 7,000 box release? 2,000 boxes, I think it was. So right there told me it, something was something was fishy because with the esoterica and stuff once you buy whatever you can get your hands on for two or three tens or whatever after a couple of weeks it's usually gone and it don't come back until they make another drop three years later in 2017 they made another drop or another run of the amazon basin I only smoke one of the second run. They were like 10 bucks. 
11 bucks, depending on where you where you could find it. But I was like, if this tobacco is only harvested every seven years, how could they come out with it in three years after the... Something right there told me something was fishy. We got a little liquor store here in town. It's called the Liquor Locker slash Cigar Locker because they've got a humidor off the one room. They call it the Cigar Locker. Not a lot of, not a lot in it. It's just a little small walk in. It's about like what you would have in a vape shop, but they're not a vape shop. They're a liquor store. I went in there just looking around. My wife was getting her hair done right around the corner. So I went over to the liquor locker or the cigar locker to check it out. They had the second release of Amazon Basins in there for like 25 bucks a, a pop. And I noticed scalpers was getting whatever they could, you know, wherever I would see them in different groups and all, people would post them up just like we do with, with pipe tobacco and whatever. They would post them up with price tags on them and some of them were, you know, 15, 18, 25. I never paid that much for it. I was like, it, it's not, I don't buy Opus X because they're not worth the hype. Opus X is another one that is a small batch, so to speak. They're hard to find and when you do, they're expensive. So this is a different, a different blend. This is called Añejo. And I thought I saw where it was actually a triple Añejo. And Southern Boy would probably call it an uh, Angio. And, uh, or uh, Anajo. Anajo. Because H O at the end is Ho. Añejo. Anejo, Añejo, whatever. So it's 2023 and they release it again. Just been out. Well, actually they released it in 2022. It's been out for a short period of time. I think it was like the end of 2022 when it first came out and whatever. But this is my first one. I actually picked them up at Boswell's the other day. And because uh, I was bitching about taking the price tags off all of them. They come in the cellophane. The cellophane in this was actually brown, like it had been aged. They said these cigars are aged an extra two years before they release them. Just like some of the Drew Estate cigars, they, they blend them, roll them, put them away, and let them age for six, seven, eight, ten years, and then they release them. I don't know if they had aged these in the cellophane or not but the cellophane on them is really brown like it's been aged but when I took it off the top part of it was brown the bottom part was still clear so I'm thinking it was just from dye just come off of this the wrapper I don't think it's been aged long enough for it to to turn the, the cellophane like that but I paid 13 bucks for them I don't remember the reason I say that because I can't remember now if it was twelve eighty or thirteen eighty, so I'm just gonna say I paid thirteen bucks for him. I got five. He had only had two boxes, but he'd already sold one. They come in a box of eighteen, because when I saw him, I was like, "Lee, do you have any more of these by the box?" And he was like, "No, we only got two, and we already sold one. That's what's left." They like seven or eight in the in the box, so I grabbed five. The other ones, the first the first batch, I was buying every box I could find from from down down or Maryland all up to New York up by uh, Niagara. A buddy lived up there, and he he texted me and told me one day that. That guy had three boxes. So I got his number and I called him and said, I want all three of them. 
for $108 a piece. I was uh, I sold two boxes for 165 a piece and paid 108 for it. It was back when I used to think it was cool to make a little money off of it. I don't do that. I don't do that anymore with any kind of tobacco. If I sell you something, I'm selling it to you for whatever I paid for it. And that's all I'm looking for. And shipping, of course. If I gift you something, I don't expect anything in return. <clears throat> A lot of times people feel that they need to retaliate and send return fire or whatever when you send them something. I don't... I don't send it out to get anything in return. But that's just me. I ain't really got nothing to say. I just wanted to get on here and babble. I wanted somebody to talk to while I smoke some of this cigar. It's damn good, too. I mean, it's good. The thing about, I know I was going to tell you, CAO, they're actually, uh, they sold out and sold to General Cigar Company years ago. <clears throat> and I don't know if they sold out with the clause of, you know how sometimes when somebody sells their business, they have to wait so, many, so, so long before they can start doing the same thing again. Or it could be some kind of... Uh, conflict of contract or something like that if you were to sell somebody a business and then you turn around and open up a business right behind selling it to them your other customers come to follow you you know that's just not that's just not good business so i think that they that's why they do stuff like that so cao is making cigars again but not under the cao brand I think they're actually called Ozinger, and that's what the O is in CAO. Is the Ozinger cigar, Ozinger cigars? That's what I wanted to tell you. But that's about it. Just wanted to babble, unload some stuff on my head there for a minute. The thing about a cigar. The longer you can let the ash go without it falling, if you can if you can time it, it keeps the cigar burning cool because it keeps the the the, the cherry the ember from getting so wild. It keeps it lit low. I know what I'm trying to say, but you want to flip it. You let the ash get as close to an inch as you can. And then you then you want to flip it. You want to make sure. <coughs> Pardon me. You want to make sure that you don't let it fall and ash yourself. Which <laughs> we do that many times. Plenty of times. No big deal if it happens. Just wipe it off and keep on smoking. So anyway, I'm going to jump off here. 14 minutes of babbling that should be enough so remember if you stay ready you don't have to get ready and with that being said until next time you know what to do stuff them and puff them